Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's the most important, bottom line, critical thing happening on this planet. Today on This Is Important? I also think John claude Van Damme looks exactly like Ernest. There's an alligator out there with a pussy. All I'm saying is Kentucky's in the South, dude. The dirty South. This is not semantics. This is important. Buckle up. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 man. Yo, yo. Hello. Yo. T-I-I Nation. Popo Sao! Gangnam Style. Oh, right. Oh, now I remember what the podcast is. Yeah. Oh, shit. I feel like I'm not clicked in until the Popo Zao, and then I'm like, oh, go. right. This is this, us. This is what yeah. we do. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Welcome back, TII hey. Nation. What's up, guys? And thank you for uh, the the Wampum Hi, Gangnam Anders. Style. Absolutely. We live a Wampum. What's up, home. Anders? Hey. Hey, what's up, Adam? How you doing? Oh, not much. I'm doing good. How are you, Blake? Cool. I'm doing great. Hi. How are you? Hey, How are you? hey Blake. How's it going, dude? Hey, hey, we got a smile. <laughs> hey, what's up, YouTubers? How are you? <laughs> Uh, smash the subscribe <laughs> like and subscribe like and subscribe Remember, ring that it. bell have you guys do you guys watch do you guys watch anything on youtube where people are hosting it and for whatever reason they no. all think they all think they need to open up the episode or whatever you call it with the same like what's up fam like it's the same shit everyone's just doing the same thing right tii nation <laughs> it's so weird well we we always open up with like Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying one dude opens up the same. I'm saying many different people start their YouTube whatever's the exact same way. You're saying there's a universal YouTube call sign when you start. Yes, it's fucking weird. There's an art of the vlog. What is it? Let's start doing it. It's like, hey, what's up, world? Or like, what's up, guys? And you're just like, okay. but it's <laughs> no, 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 no. But it's the same yeah. cadence. It, there's a weird, there's a weird cadence to these YouTube hosts who are like, uh, "We're back again, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys these new nails I bought. Uh, these are for wood. Do uh, your these are kids for drywall? Yeah. Do your kids uh, any? And this goes for any y'all. Maybe not Kyle because I don't think his child uh, is is deep into the YouTube game quite yet. No, no, he's not. But. Uh, do your kids, Durs or Blake, want to be YouTubers when they grow up? Uh, uh, I think the children are like super more aware of like like just like being famous. I know like that's always been a thing, but like I don't know. I kind of always grew up just wanting to like be in comedy and not so much caring about like the fame of it all. But it seems like that influencing and YouTube makes yeah. it. I feel like as a little kid, I didn't even think of like being an actor i just thought like yeah movies are a thing that we watch together as a family but like i want to be a, just a dancer a baseball player i just want to be a dancer you discovered at a wedding as a dancer <laughs> no i yeah. wanted to be a, a baseball did you say you wanted to be a baseball player yeah, yeah. when i was like real yeah. young and then right. by like yeah me too me too 12 i was like oh i can't you know play baseball i'm in a wheelchair so yeah i want it's impossible and everyone was like didn't you want to play baseball and you're like i was joking I tell jokes. It was a fucking joke, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm a I love jokester. Jokes. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. But it's weird. Kids kids like love YouTube now in a My way kids that don't watch it. Blake, are you saying are you saying that these kids are you saying that these kids are just wanting to skip the the craft and go straight to the fame? Is that what's well, I think it is, I think it right directly now. is a is like a trickle down from like you can see how many people view stuff. You can see how many people like stuff. Like it's very monetized in that way. Like before you would just throw it into the dark. You could kind of guess how many people were on your jock, but now you know if you're famous or not. Right. You know how many people are on your jock, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. You have you that jock them. counter up top. That tells mm -hmm. you. Right. That, I wish that's what the like button was called. Jock counter. I know. You jump on my How jock. many jocks do you have? <laughs> Smash you that jock button. Myself? How many guys are on your jock? <laughs> Come on. Smash that jock button. <laughs> Smash Let's my jock. Go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> you got any more? 
Uh, you got another good. one? That's it. Okay. <laughs> that other one was Lil Nas X at the VMAs, though. He oh, my God. Can huge. Talk about so how good. He gave out a battle oh. cry of a let's go, and it just got me juiced, Let's man. hear it again. Yeah, let's hear it. I bet the rest let's got you go! juiced, too. Oh, oh, I can feel it. He hit it with a, he hit it with a Z. The let's <laughs> go. And that's great. He wanted but to go. He, he fucking killed it. But nah, he tweaking though. He tweaking. He he's he killed it at the BET Awards, and then just when you think he can't uh, outdo himself, he outdid and see. Well, he butt fucked a ton of dudes on on uh, on stage, right? Did he? He yeah. was just in like a a little little pit of men. Uh, oh. It was very sexual yeah he was in a little booty short i watched her for i watched her for like 30 seconds and then uh and i couldn't i couldn't to, watch uh, it i, go I couldn't bathroom. watch it anymore before jerking <laughs> off dude yeah. it was too yeah, hot to I, handle man it was yeah. hot there were guys like rubbing their dicks and i was like are we can we do that now yeah what's the deal dude <laughs> wait wait what? well that's no, that's the thing dude. it's what like mean? how are they rubbing it can you show can you show us since this is a video? Pop? I don't know if I can. That's what I'm asking. Show us right now. We'll cut as to friends. It no, it was like a sexual <laughs> like. <laughs> no, it, dude, you have to watch the video. It's like I watch. I like I literally turned it on and I just saw a man bent over and him grabbing a dude by the waist and yeah. butt fucking him. And I'm yeah. like. Oh, it was great. <laughs> he rocks. Well, dude. they're not actually butt fucking. It's a, obviously a pantomime of a. Butt it's fuck. a pantomime butt fuck. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pantomime. So they're not. But that's the difference between us, and we could start at their penis, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Things have things have gotten advanced. <laughs> things have gotten sure. advanced, dude. Things have gotten real sexual. So this is the new like Britney and Madonna kissing is like yes. Nas X butt Thank fucking you. a dancer. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, now like women could just kiss all day long. People are like that. We've seen it. No, this is great. This is pushing the art forward. This is fantastic. But but, but it's not, Kyle. It isn't though. And I don't want to. Here, okay. Here, what do you mean, Anders? Yes, it is. Okay. Put your foot down. But it, you said it's pushing the art forward. Okay. And here's, and yes. here's why it's I'm not. Saying, and here's why it's not. Okay. Cool. Okay. Do tell. Hot We're take. Waiting. Hot take. Because okay. the fucking, and this is an old man stance, I guess, but the VMAs okay. are so stance. fucking corporate now. It's oh. crazy. So like, brought you to you by American Express. <laughs> you think he's like wiling out and like pushing the envelope, but like, it's so sponsored. Nobody cares. It's all good. It's not, it, everyone's not like shocked. No one's surprised. They love it. Yeah, but that's a good thing to put in the mainstream. No, it's a commercial. I mean, everything is a commercial. Well, be it, be it whatever it is, it's still a, it's still like you know him expressing himself on stage through choreography. So like that's dope. Mm -hmm. That's not like when we were growing up and we saw that shit. That shit would be outrage. Right? I know, uh, but what I'm saying is that it was everything wasn't brought to you by fucking Snickers or whatever. Like because if that didn't satisfy you, Adam. A this butt book. fucking has been brought to you by. Yeah, but money, money pushes art forward too. Money pushes art. Yeah, but the, I mean, we're talking about the VMAs, dog. That's <laughs> always been. Yeah. That's never been like it's worse a now super than ever. punk rock fucking thing. It's always been very much. And they're like this next Lil Nas butt fucking performance like the, will be brought to you by <laughs> Corn Nuts. It's, uh, it was, <laughs> and that's cool. That's that means the art is progressing. That's good. It's no, that's I, good. Uh, I I've, no. I feel. I don't like, understand. I like this is the one. This is the one time Kyle's taking like the core the the side of like corporate America. It's very weird. I like yeah he's like no. no it's great i actually love it i don't quite understand it though i don't quite understand it because the money follows like the culture then you know what i mean so like exactly this is the culture popping through and the money is supporting that so like what's what's the problem with that uh, to me that's i've been thinking progress. about this a lot lately though like do you remember when it was like a, oh you have you have oh sure you tell it was like a thing when we were coming up like selling out was goofy. Like right. you didn't give up your art to brands because then what would happen is what we live in today where literally every single thing we see is a commercial. We're all just walking commercials now. Right. You tag your mm -hmm. shit. Brought to you by Tushy. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. The, this friendship is brought to you by Liquid IV. <laughs> I think that was their best buds, we promise. <laughs> Friendship. Perfect. <laughs> but I was like, I mean, I feel like the internet started because we were all so sick of watching commercials in between TV shows. And now literally the internet is just 
commercials without you even knowing they're commercials. Oh, mm -hmm. dude, I was thinking about this today too because I was watching See? Norm's. Well, Norm has a show on Netflix, and he's always like Norm McDonald. Want a Red mm -hmm. Bull? Yeah, he's like mm -hmm. R.I.P. 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 I was just catching up on some R.I.P. Mm -hmm. Didn't give him flowers. Mm -hmm. Fuck. But he was. He was giving out uh, Red Bulls. He's like, you want something from the drink thing? And he's giving out Red Bulls, and people are drinking Red Bulls on the screen. I'm like, perfect, yeah, product perfect. placement. Sorry. <laughs> then I thought back to, like, I'm pretty sure our opening shot of Workaholics, because of the relationship that Viacom had with Red Bull, is a floating Red Bull bowl in the pool. Like, it is an indoor, like a commercial. That was on purpose? first shot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but Red, Red Bull was punk rock back then. Red Bull was counterculture. I don't Red think Bull that was, was on fucking, purpose, was it? That was 1,000% on purpose because they had a deal with Viacom. Then I wouldn't have done the show. <laughs> I'm out. I'm a monster guy. <laughs> and I was like, I got the shot. I put it in there. Well, I put it in there. Well, Kyle, I... Uh, now I pass on the show and I want you to digitally uh, erase me from the show. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what's cool, though, is if they were smart, they could turn that into a monster can. They could turn that into anything they right. want. Wouldn't that now. be so tight if we could like do that? If like we're like, you know what? Enough is enough. Fucking replace me. The and then they just replace you with some <laughs> other actor <laughs> of this old it's show. It's just another Blake's Timothy face. Timothy Chalamet. Whoa, that would. Yes, exactly. That would be so. Well, wild. we're going to oh. get there to where like it's just Tom Cruise is in every Ooh. movie and they they digitally digitally like age him down to where Dude. he looks 25 again whatever happened yeah. to that where that guy ca sorry well go ahead blake no i mean i'm thinking like that would be sick if you kind of played movies like you do say like a video game where you choose your character you could choose who you want to see in the movie like you could pick the actors and plug Dude. them in like this is so scary so there was a big thing when they were replacing crisp when they were replacing chris plummer in um the money movie you right. know because or they replaced kevin spacey with chris plummer yeah right and right. then they just did the same thing with tig notaro and chris mm -hmm. you know in right. the in the zombie movie mm -hmm. but there was something where somebody Run! cast fucking james dean uh -huh. in a movie Right. They actually cast a director actually cast James Dean in a movie. The porn dude? The porno guy? No. The dead actor. The dead actor from Rebel Without oh, a I Cause. Don't know the other I know one James Dean. <laughs> Kyle, the way you're phrasing this, you're like a director actually cast James Dean. This well, was I the, think that's right. That's this what, was I what heard they too. were talking about. And then about. it's like yeah. his estate had to sign off on it. And then the estate is going to get paid for it. Oh, correct? yeah. This is like an Asian right. dude, right? That's so bizarre. Is this an American movie or an Asian movie, right? I can't remember the details of the movie, but yes, the estate that. was getting paid and they had enough information about James Dean's face that they got an impersonator to come in and do the movie, or this right. was the plan. I can't. I don't know what came of it, but they got an impersonator to come in and do the movie and then they Blake. put his face on that <laughs> guy's looks face. Just like I'm James, James Dean. I'm James Dean. I remember hey, having... Uh, hey, you're tearing me apart. I'm James Dean. You're tearing Dean. me apart. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was like... Do you remember at the uh, Camden Martinique where we used to live? Uh, in and, uh, Costa Mesa? In Costa Mesa. And yeah. I had the... I had a giant poster of James Dean in my oh, bathroom oh, just because I think I went to like Hot Topic and bought a bunch of posters. <laughs> right. And then people like, I don't know, we had like some, it was like a theater thing came over to my house and like all the gay dudes in our, in the, like the theater group were like, oh, I didn't know you're a gay dude. And I'm like, I'm not a, what? And they're like, what? James Dean, he's like a gay Ooh. icon. And they were like, whoa. <laughs> Like he's a gay Relax. icon, and you have it. Like it was like over. It was like basically over my bed. It was right there, and I'm right. like, I didn't know. I didn't know. It's okay. I'm fine right. with it. I didn't. Oh, Fast I forward a little now. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, he's like yeah, a suit. I, I, I should have just had that and like Wizard of Oz shit above my bed, and 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 little little Nas. Yeah, X. I knew about Wizard of Oz. What's your name? <laughs> well, right mm -hmm. when and he was uh, early early Nas X and like. <laughs> Early Nas X when he was like nine. It's super weird that I have it uh, uh, over my bed. <laughs> Very this illegal. This kid is going to be good. <laughs> Did you say nine? Yeah, because he's so much younger than me. He must have right. been like, uh, yeah, maybe that. I'll maybe give you that. that. Uh, we're not going to do the age thing here, okay? Come on. I don't Come want on, anybody man. to know how old no, I, I am. I bet that's <laughs> right, right. I was 20. I bet he's like, what? No, I'm saying. 10 years younger than me? Less, more than? 15? Little Nas X? I think I he's like know. 20, isn't he? I bet. I don't know. He's little, dude. We're not going to do the age thing. Yeah, don't do the age thing.
I mean, Lil Wayne's still Lil Wayne. The guy's like 45. Yeah, old Can Wayne. Can the producers give us uh, the age of Lil Nas X? No, but Nas X is like, he's like 22. Right? I think yeah. he's like 22. He's so he was, oh, shit. I got Kyle, it right on. Right on the money. Boom. You Tap know your 22-year-old. Hey, he he saw here. that VMA performance and he was like... <laughs> That's a twenty two that's a that's twenty two year old youth. body pushing the art. The youth will always push the art forward. The right? art. Let's go. Sure Brought Let's to you go. by Corn Nut. Look at him push the art. Brought to you by Bugles. Buke. Well, I think that's the difference between like our generation, like millennials. We were like, you know what? Yeah, uh gays should be able to get married. And then this generation Z is like pushing it so far forward that like the right. old guard was like no gay shouldn't be able to get married like fucking old people and we're like no they should be able to get married and then generation z is like well we're all polyamorous uh there's no yeah. gender anymore right and uh we're all fucking each other <laughs> and yep. and then then the old guard is now like all right gay marriage is fine you can right, you guys right, right. <laughs> yeah yeah you guys can get married <laughs> it's fine we'll give you that yeah. one well, that's kind of exactly that's a great plan of attack is like push it way all the way forward so that like people aren't uh, weirdly offended by shit that they shouldn't be offended by. It's crazy. Right. Is that what we've been doing with the Internet is just just pushing it everywhere <laughs> Good. to your like, is you know what I mean? I just wanted to do the podcast with Kyle, but mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. well, let me start by asking all the guys. And then and we then all agree. Right. Here we are. Right. Like, and I was like, oh, fuck. we were like friendship. Yeah. Durs. Let's do it. Let's do yeah. a, a DK talk, Durs and Kyle. Let's do oh, it. Oh, DK. <laughs> I'd, yeah. I'd be hyped that on be? that. Polycharged. Yeah, it would yeah be we would get into it. Super polycharged. That shit would be polychar. We would uh, talk voter voting and politics. <laughs> yeah, if you guys could just talk like local California politics the whole time, that would be. Anybody so vote good. for um, what's that chick's name? Who has the pink Corvettes? Diane or oh, whatever. Angeline. Oh, Angeline. Angeline. So if you don't live in California or LA, there's a woman who, she must be like 80 years old now, but she yeah. looks like a Barbie doll from from Mattel. And uh, <laughs> she she Sponsored is like platinum Mattel. blonde. She's been driving these pink Corvettes for the last like 30 years. Still kind of hot? Yeah. Oh, she can get it. <laughs> Are you um, me? And she ran for governor. Absolutely. She was like on that list. Oh, we're getting a lot of notes from the producers. She's 70. She's 70, and she doesn't look a day over 68. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but she's, a, she's a legend, though. Yeah, she is. She's on Billboard. She is. I remember, like, uh, she's like a West Hollywood legend. And she has, like, she had, bit, I remember when we first moved, when I first moved to LA, there was, like, billboards. Yeah. Of, the, of Angeline, Angeline or Angelique? Yeah. Angeline? I Angeline. believe it's Angeline. So that was like when you were 20. She was 50. And there's like billboards everywhere. And then and then I saw, uh, I've seen her, you know, obviously just living there, you you would see her out and about. And it was always like a rare spot. And you're like, oh, there she is. Yeah. As if she's yeah. a real star. Like a Sasquatch. All she is is just a woman who paid to have billboards of herself up. And then like has branded herself like the queen of West Hollywood and she just wears all pink and drives around. It's fucking dope. What's her profession? Yeah. What's her thing? No, that is her Rocking thing. Rocking our world. She's got, she wants to be an actress, I believe, but she never she made never, it. So yeah. she just like, is like a, she's a, she is, she just is pink and she's like, I'm the pink person. Yeah. And yeah. that's, yeah. And she drives a pink well, you, Corvette. When you say it like that, it doesn't sound cool, but it's very cool. <laughs> yeah. She's like super cool, dude. She's got a cool car. No, no. I just want to get to, I just want to get to the bottom of it. You know, I don't, I mean, yeah, it's obviously it's so sick. <laughs> obviously super sick. I'm sure people give her like, you know, whatever her rate is, a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, whatever, to like come to their party and be like a novelty and be like, "Look, we got Angeline." Yeah, is she on cameo uh, over there by the by the uh, shrimp bowl. I heard she's a really bad party guest, though. She just fucking <laughs> rages, breaks shit, steals shit. Dude, that sounds fun as hell. That sounds like you, dude. Angeline. Yeah. Well, you can't have two go hards. I just I don't know. Right. Blake Anderson, <laughs> Blake Anderson, and Angeline cannot be in the same place. That's too. That's too much hot energy. I want to get on a billboard with her. Maybe I could fight her on Triller. That would be pretty cool. Me versus yeah. Angeline. Oh, you can evidently you could pay her to take a photo with her mm -hmm. oh. on her cor Corvette, which Kyle. I think maybe we all do. That's like next you, time, that's like next time we're all in Hollywood together. We we well, do yeah, that. I pay She'll be photos. dead, Adam. 
I pay for photos. Yeah. I like to well, pay for any, photos. I think that's cool. Any day now. Pay for oh, photos. Yeah. <laughs> well, didn't uh wait, didn't like the the movie The Room kind of did a similar thing where it like had that billboard up in Hollywood forever. Yeah, when I moved then, here it was up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that dude's name? Tommy Tommy Wiseau? Yeah. Yeah. I Tommy Wiseau. Like, yeah. The internet will tell us. What was the movie that Seth Rogen made a, about? The Disaster the dis- Artist. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, it was James Franco's film. Right. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever seen... Well, he's canceled. Okay. No, um, it's his uh, movie. Have you guys ever seen the... Absolutely. <laughs> have you ever seen The Room? The it actual is. movie? The Room? Yeah. yeah. Kyle? Y- yes. Yes. 1,000%. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so it's fucking charged. Bro, that was a film school. That was a film school must. This guy's so charged right now. Why are you so charged about it, dude? <laughs> I love the room. It's so good. It's yeah. like that was the... a film school must because you'd go on. I mean, everybody came to LA and you like see I didn't think it was good. Billboard, and you're like, what is this? <laughs> oh, take. you didn't? Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoa, I, I, I thought it was bad. That. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm I'm up. siding with Anders on this one, and I didn't think it was good. <laughs> uh, but it, it drags. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it lacks plot. The acting, the acting's fine. There's some plot holes. Yeah, major that's plot holes. the best part is the really good acting. Yeah, um, it lacks arcing. It's really just very rough. Yeah, I agree. I, great. I think I think the acting is fantastic. The only thing that could have made it better if my be- my favorite actor in the world, Kyle Newcheck, mm-hmm. was in the movie. Then that's wow. the only way the acting could have been better. Hey, yeah. they'll be oh, man. And I stand by yeah. that, dude. <laughs> There's You'll be no able to way. Plug Tommy Wiseau in. is it? He's a genius. He he really like put his all on that screen. It's He's awesome. He, did he ever make a follow up film, or was he a one and done? Done. Damn. That's it. He just hung on to that. I mean, yeah. some of these guys, uh, actually, there was one from the Bay Area that a guy made one around the same time called Birdemic. Did you guys ever hear about this film? Oh, yeah. I, I've heard the name. Birdemic? What, what is, what is yeah. it? Yeah. Where it has Birdemic? like, the, it has like bad CGI birds that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, there's like, they're at the beach and the fucking seagulls. Oh, that's. Crazy. Oh, that's it's, what it is. It's, it's like so birds. Good. It's like but... birds. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> all the birds are now attacking everyone, <laughs> and they, the dude couldn't like couldn't like afford the CG. So like, what ended up in the movie are is the sickest computer well, graphics like you were. Well, you know see, what right? would be really fun, guys. Uh, Instead of like trying to make like a really good movie for mm-hmm. like the next movie that we do together, um, besides the Workaholics movie, right. uh, we should do. We should just get a hold of like Sci Fi Channel and go. Hey, we'll make your fucking silly little Sharknado uh, disaster disaster yeah. movies because Dude, that yeah. seems so Octodial. damn fun to do. I mean. The Sharknado movies get like fucking twenty million people watching. Absolutely. Dude, what about, maybe me too. Let's, let's make let's do it to puss. Let's croc to puss. Eight alligators connected together. Eight crocodiles. Croc to puss, bro. Let's go. Are you coming up with that right now? <laughs> oh yeah. Right now. That's really good. You just came up with Croctopus. You just came with that with Croctopus. That's right now. That's no, 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 hang on. See, hang on. Kyle, 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 that would sell in the room, dude. Oh if you, if you, God. if we went to, you just made that up. <laughs> Bullshit. I just made that up. I swear to, Bullshit. I swear. What do you want me to swear on? I'm. Not, I don't believe you. What do you want me to swear on? Anything. What do you have around you? Swear on. Fucking cup of coffee. I mean, we could it. do this all day, and we could <laughs> sell this in the room. I uh, love Croctopus. Let's Croct- do it. Croctopus is like eight. Eight Vol- heads? Vulcan, volcano beaver. And it's just well, a volcano that, that just Wait, Adam, erupts beaver. Let's get to the bottom of this. Did you just make that up, Adam? I just made that up. There's no way. You just made up volcano beaver? Volcano beaver. There's no fucking way. Volcano beaver. You guys got together before yeah, this dude. and wrote all what these about, down. Hey, I got one. Hurricat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're dude, jo- you try to be bad. Hey, that's actually guess what? Good. Sold in the room. Hurricats sold in the room, dude. Snake dog. Snake, oh. snake dog. Wait, snake dog. Snake, do- uh, snake dogs every day. We're gonna have to pass. <laughs> we're going. Snake we, dog. Listen, we just hey, we hey, just hey, want to hey. stop at volcano to beaver. <laughs> Snake dog. <laughs> like the, we have oh. one budget, we have one purse, and yeah. volcano to peeper. <laughs> volcano to beaver. Volcano to beaver's got legs, man. <laughs> so are you uh, him as like? Why is there a D in there? No one knows, and no one should know, man. The volcano, volcano, to, volcano to beaver. So are they like beavers that can swim in molten lava, and they like are like yes, they are damming up the lava. Yeah, and yeah. then when it erupts, it, it erupts. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, there, then there's beavers just everywhere, dude, oh. and they're pissed. They're pissed because they've just been in lava, dude. Right. By the way, this is how Let's the pitches, <laughs> this is hell. probably how they do it. Like, the executives are like, is it like a, a beaver that can swim in lava? And you're like, yes, absolutely it is. Absolutely. Yes. Well, my, you know, my homie. Beavers, like, come out of lava and bite through anything? Yes. Yes, uh, they can. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, they're the <laughs> molten lava toughen them up. Exactly. And uh, right. right. Yes, that's right. Yes. You know, my homie, uh, Daniel Lewis, he makes these movies. He does that. He makes these movies, and he sa- he says he sells it in the room. What are we waiting for? Just like that. He sold a movie called Arachnaquake in the room, <laughs> right, just like right. that. Yes, sir. Exactly like Wait, that. You say in, you, uh, hang on a second. You say he sold the movie in the room. Like he's, like, he's, what, he's what room is this? He's pitching <laughs> yeah. side. He's in the sci-fi. He, he was doing another movie, and they're like, you have any other movies you're cooking up? And he didn't, and right. he goes, yeah, I do. And they go, yeah. well, what do you got? And he goes, Arachnaquake. Mm-hmm. And they go, wow, yes, we want that. And then they work backwards from that? We want Arachnaquake. And this is the earthquake where it, the earth yeah. opens and spiders come out? An earth opens up and spiders, giant spiders come out. It's logical. And it can happen. It can and happen. and cool. he's like, he's like, uh-huh. And then he quickly went and found a writer and they fucking wrote the movie in like two weeks and came right. back and gave him his, the script. And I'm like, yeah, man. Hey. that's And he... I'm like that's that's a fun that's a that's a fun life right there. That's Hollywood. Oh yeah, yeah that's bad. Isn't he also the guy who like owns uh, like Ernest? Like he has Ernest estate. Oh who? yeah, I you know think I mean? that is right. <laughs> yes, you know I mean? he yeah. he had like Ernest's you know I mean? estate and wanted to do something in the Ernest world, but then Ernest is dead. The Ernest P world. <laughs> Ernest P so, world. Uh, world. <laughs> But then now Ernest uh, is dead, so like, what right. is just someone's gonna be doing an impression of him? It would be like a, a pretty well, weird no, thing. Well, no, you do okay. like what they did with the mask, yeah. or with the Ace Ventura. They do yeah, the sun. No, you do what they're doing with J- James Dean. If you could get uh, James yep. Dean in a movie, I should be able to have <laughs> Ernest oh, in every right. movie. Blake's getting I do. worked up. Okay, I no, want I Ernest like in this. every film I make. I've never seen Blake this charged before. I yeah. like this, Blake. Well, hey, well, so if you're, you're saying talk bring back Ernest. Yes, I love it. I love yes. it. Can hey, we put I, him in other movies like Avatar and stuff? I'll yes. get a hold of I'll get a hold of my boy right fucking now, dude. This Please. is say that say that we're we're all in. We're mm-hmm. gonna produce this film with him. We're we're all starring in it. Uh, with alongside Ernest. Ernest. With Ernest. Yeah. I love it. We're just we're just acting the, with a tennis ball and laughing as if it's Ernest. <laughs> The thing is, you hit a, a roadblock. A we're going to hit a roadblock because this is going to be a fucking like a sixty million dollar Ernest movie. Uh, <laughs> so, well, yeah, what do you? But, I, well, well, if you have, if yeah, if you have Ernest in it, it better be fucking pricey. You yeah. better make some coin. That's you got the A listers, dog. That's going to make right. it right back. The Ernest Christmas movie, Ernest Saves Christmas, is pretty fucking good. It's unreal. When the reindeer were on the roof of like that that warehouse. I lost oh, you're shit. saying on the roof, but what, they're like literally like, upside down. They're on the ceiling. Yes, yeah. Sorry. Oh, the that's ceiling. Right. That's okay. right. They're I was not like, on the roof. They're on well, the damn scared ceiling. stupid is the oh. best one of all those movies. Stop, stop. Stop. Well, scared, scared stupid is the scariest one. That one is. It actually yeah. freaked me out as a child. Like I got very yeah. nervous and didn't want to drink milk for quite some time after watching that one. No one oh, me. yeah. I was uh, I was scared of milk too. I was like, uh oh. And goes to jail is uh, legit bad. I can't even remember why. Why? What? What's the no? Uh, what, goes what's to the jail movie? was the first bad movie I remember seeing in the theaters where I was like. Um, I that was re- not good. But that has the pen scene, doesn't it? Yes, the pen scene is one of the most legit. What the ink? Yeah, that is a classic fucking scene. What, what, what was the pen scene? Please do explain. Okay, so Ernest <laughs> is uh, is Tell he the- on the jury uh for a murder trial or some kind of trial where the guy who is on trial looks exactly like him? Right. Oh yeah, just- isn't it like his twin brother? It's just a guy who looks like him. No, it's literally just him slick with his hair slicked back. It's the same actor. Looks- Scary. Well, yeah. No, I know. I'm saying, like, in the movie, it's his twin brother, right? No, no, it's no. It's not that, just a guy that looks like him? No, it is, it's that's a guy the... who looks exactly like <laughs> him. Yeah. It's a case of mistaken identity. Uh, By the way, he it. kills it See? as that dude. Guys, <laughs> this these are the type of movies I want to make with you, <laughs> with my boys. <laughs> it's a simple case of mistaken identity. Well, you go, yeah. oh, well anyway, he's, he's watching the trial, and he's, like, fiddling with this pen. 
and he's Chewing like biting on, on the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it breaks in his mouth. It goes and it continues everywhere. to be one of the funniest physical comedy moments. He's like trying to wipe his mouth with paper. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I think the judge is like, are you good? And he's like, yeah. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? You know who would play him is, uh, I think we just talked about him, Simon Rex. Kind of has like a, has a looks, looks vibe. Looks he like looks him. like Ernest. I also I, think John claude Van Damme looks exactly like Ernest. Oh, John claude is the kind of the- <laughs> What are we talking about? Yeah, no. Actually, yeah, when they, you say that, I see it. It's yeah. He's the jacked version of Ernest. <laughs> yeah, what? I wish they would have made a movie together. I can see that. Oh, we got to- hey. Hey, on the Instagram uh, handle, pod is important. We're going to drop a side by side. Pod important. What is happening? What is it? Pod important? (laughs) Yeah. That's the name of our Instagram? Yeah, you didn't know that? Uh, I've been tagging the wrong one, I think. (laughs) Who you been tagging? Pod is important. (laughs) Pod is important. important. (laughs) Pod Pod is important. I think it's Tide Pods. (laughs) I think it's, yeah. Pod is important. Uh, we got to do a side by John Claude and Ernest. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, because I think I see it as soon as you said that. I, I, uh, it came to life. Well, that would be cool if Jean Claude did like. What are we talking? If Jean Claude, we're talking about Jean Claude playing. <laughs> I'm really talking about Jean Claude playing Ernest in a biopic. Yeah. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like do the Ernest biopic all the way up through Toy Story and everything. You know what I mean? Oh, that's <laughs> like, right. He's the. He's the. Oh, he's the dog. Well, yeah, he's sleepy. Be, his name isn't Ernest. Jim <laughs> Barney. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Jim Barney. No. Yeah. Ernest did the voice of the Sleeky Dog. Everybody knows that that was hurt him as Ernest. Uh, we got to go deep on Jim Barney. Did he do what else did he do besides Beverly Hillbillies? Right. Remember the Bear Beverly Hillbillies oh, movie? He so yeah. good. Okay. Uh, yeah. So good. Unreal. So was he a comedy guy? Was he like Thank a Groundlings guy? Yes. Like what was what was he? Because he's so damn funny as Ernest. Canada, right? He's Canadian. You're thinking uh, of he Red might have been Canadian. Oh, they just build him different up there. Yeah, I think he's Canadian. I think he was a real thespian. I think he was a real actor. I think he might have been in a, like a Shakespeare like Well, yeah, they everybody does that. Traveling, uh, but but you don't know. Through. I could be making this entirely. I'm up. like, dude, shut the fuck up. Okay, yeah, <laughs> everybody does okay. that. Bro. Uh, that makes I think sense. he yeah. was, no, but I do. I think he could have been an astronaut. I think he's a real actor. He did summer stock. Um, I think he worked at NASA and then was like <laughs> telling, make- telling jokes in the cafeteria, and they were like pretty good. And then he <laughs> yeah. went to Hollywood. Hey, I'm buying it. Yeah. If yeah. you're selling that, I'm buying it. Yeah, I, I could be wrong. I think it could be that though. <laughs> yeah. No, I. <laughs> Blake, Blake, you're just out there talking. You're like, I think he could have been a serious actor. Maybe. Oh, uh, not Canadian, American. Yo. He's not Canadian. Thank God we he's got one. He's not Canadian. He's American. Yeah, he's right? from yeah. fucking right. Kentucky. Dude, Blake, your shit. He stars in bars. He's from. I didn't say he was Canadian. He's from Kentucky. I did. I, did. Oh, okay. I was wrong. All right. Okay. I okay. said he was. I thought he was. I just am up here and I'm like, dude. But go after somebody, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hit Who me. says Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> Larry, <laughs> hit me. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, you guys, I mean, I thought you guys were like speaking as if you have real information on the guy that he's from Canada. Yeah, so. I look at, he's from uh, Kentucky. The, if About as far away from Canada as you can get in the United yeah, States. What, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, it's well, not. Maybe, what are you talking about? <laughs> Kentucky? That's fucking fucking south of shit. No, it's is not. It's, hey, it's Kentucky about as isn't far in the south. You can Kentucky, get from Canada. Kentucky is in the southern part of America, but you said it's about as far as you can get from Canada. <laughs> in, in the I U.S. Have, what part of Canada? <laughs> including all the states below it. Yeah, there's not that many states below Ke- uh, Kentucky. It's in the south, man. <laughs> hey. Kentucky's about as far as you can get. It's it's about as far. But as Vancouver, if you're talking about, <laughs> all I'm saying is Kentucky's in the South, dude. The dirty South. Kentucky it, is it's... very much the north of the South. Okay, now we're now it's semantics about what's the north of this north of the <laughs> this South. It's not now semantics. We're... This is important. <laughs> this is this important. is important. That shit's important. Uh, and you're, you are important. right. He studied Shakespeare at the Barber hey, Theater in Virginia. Hey, thank you. So, oh, that's the sound. Thank you. <laughs> and I will expect a, maybe an apology from yes, Wanderers. So he's today. a true thespian. Junk- according from, to why me. would I apologize for that? Because you were claiming I was just... From Anders? I think Adam. I think from all what? of you. Just what are we- I came up here preaching about him being a 
a Shakespearean actor and you guys were like, oh. He, but that's that. every There's actor's no story. They're like, you know, he he uh, was Barney or whatever, but before that he was fucking a uh, Shakespeare actor. You're like, that's everybody. <laughs> yeah. Not like him, dude. Everybody he, did right. Shakespeare in high school and then they end up being fucking... Mr. Bean. They claim it for life. <laughs> it goes know, on their like, Wikipedia page. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. This dude is a classically trained actor. He is a character actor, and he's one of our best. Did he go to Juilliard? Those are two different things, but... What are, you I just said two that. different things. <laughs> yeah, those are two different things. <laughs> he is a character. He has hair. He is a classically trained actor. He is a character actor. He is a bald... <laughs> Harry. He's a SAG after actor. Wait, hold on. He okay. does commercials. <laughs> he. <laughs> wait, hold this on. Man. Wait, what's the difference this, between this a... man? Wait, hold can on. memorize lines. This man, he was in commercials <laughs> for Miller's <laughs> Outpost. What's the difference between a character actor and a classically trained actor? Can't you be a classically trained character actor? Yes, you can. Sure. You can also yeah. be a classically trained character commercial actor, which is what we're saying right now. Well, I don't know why you guys were jumping on my th down my throat, <laughs> jumping on my throat about that. <laughs> I'll be honest. It has something to do with that wet ass jock, hair you dude. got today. Smash that jock button. We're trying to dry that hair out for you, dude. He was really good friends with Robin Williams. Really? I like this. I, you know, there's a huge, yeah. The, uh, they met at NASA. They must have met right. at NASA in the cafeteria. Right. Uh, <laughs> Almost forgot. There's a huge sect of our uh, right. listening, of the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. TII Nation. Of the pot, isn't the TII Nation. Pot important community uh, that for sure doesn't know who Jim Varney is, <laughs> doesn't know who Ernest is, and they're so confused. And we've Treat been talking yourself. for 45 minutes. <laughs> and they just want us to talk about little Nas. <laughs> X. Hey, we right. gave a little to the uh, butt fucking on the VMAs. Hey, we give a little bit to each side of the uh, coin. All right, or like mm, some of, some people tune in to hear that hot, hot earnest talk. Okay, yeah, that's, true. <laughs> that's true. Because that's I could go on for upwards, dude. Of Durst, tell us about minutes. Donald Sutherland again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I could. Hey, you, you're joking, but I could. Yeah. Hey, and that actually yeah, got a joking. lot of love when that episode aired. I got a lot of DMs about how happy they were about that. So let's let's go back. The community see. crawled in your DMs. Mean. They loved it. That's really great. I, when is that gonna phrase gonna stop? Because it, it makes it seem shady. Because I like looking at DMs. I'll answer a bunch of people. So, you know, when I, f I have the feel like it, I'll just go in the DMs and be like, ah, and I'll start answering people. Is that is that us or that's just Adam? Adam, I think I know what you were talking about. You were saying that. Sorry, because you were chunking right there. But you oh, were sorry. saying that in your DMs, like saying something in my DMs is a is a negative. Yeah, like like a negative thing. Like when because that's the term is slide in that person's DMs. Yes. Right. Like and sneaky. it's like shady. It's, it's seen as yes. fuck. It's seen snade, uh, sneaky and shady. Right. I'm like it's not. And that's how people communicate now. Yes. I'm right there with you. I I had the same thing where I was like telling my girl I'm like, "Yo, uh like I heard I was communicating through my DM and she's kind of like, uh, like what's going on there but yeah that's exactly where you are it acts as a text message yeah really. i text people on there too now even though i have their phone number mm -hmm. and i could and now it's like between like i'll be texting and then finish it on a dm later but it's because yeah. you share you can share stuff easier like uh, posts and, and stuff yeah man yeah. you just have to like follow these people you follow everybody around in these different rooms it's like oh check it out he's up on ig right now let's have a conversation yeah cyber stock because he's not going to jump off ig and go over to text message you're right there why yeah why exactly but also it goes down in the dm dms are vile sometimes too <laughs> well because you get the cold of very cold reaches real you get a, pretty gross yeah, sometimes yeah. you get people trying to like hey i heard you spread your in. butt cheeks this is mine <laughs> well uh, where'd you Yes. Okay, thanks. Yes. Definitely slid in the DMs there. <laughs> well, well, that is true. I do recall Adam numerous times being like, send your cock photos to my DMs and all that. So that uh, Yeah, and sense. that has toned down. That has uh, <laughs> that has chilled out. The the lit Literally zero naked people now. Sorry to hear that. Oh, why don't you cry about it? I haven't seen any naked people in there uh, for a while. There you go. Weird, and, uh, wild stuff. And I'm, and I'm fine with that. Well, uh, yeah. what's, what would you rebrand or rephrase the, what's a better word than like slide into for the DMs that you, mm. that would make it kind of shoot, shoot me a DM. <laughs> that sounds like, fun. Like shoot me a text. <laughs> yeah. Shoot yeah. me a DM. Yes. Yeah, same. Reach out. Did you do, wait, did you just come up I'm with that right now? now. <laughs> right. Did you dude, right now. You, you just did. came up with that. That's off the shoot? dome. With like a gun. Or Volcano like... beaver. <laughs> 
Oh my down. god! Like, uh, yeah, I just came up with that, dude. I'm an improv god. What was the one? What was it? Octa crocta crocodile. Croctopus? Croctopus? I just want to remember it. Sail me a DM. <laughs> Maybe you could extend it. Instead of saying DM, just say I, I direct message that person. You fucking nerd. <laughs> that sounds a little more formal. Right. What it actually is. Just say the... Well, that sounds old timey. Right. Yeah, you could say reach out via direct messages. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we reached uh -huh. out to each other via direct messages. Hey, would you? Why don't you message me directly? There you go. I there like go. that. Do you think if you told <laughs> oh. a child, do you think if you told somebody like, "Hey, uh, will you just message me directly?" and he wouldn't even know what the fuck you're talking about? No, they absolutely would not. I'm gonna start telling people to MD me. MD me. Uh -huh. Light in my MDs. M me D. M me D, please. M me D. <laughs> M my D, bro. <laughs> M me D. Why don't you just M my D? Message my direct, my mm -hmm. DMs. M my DMs. Message my direct messages. We're on fire today. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're coming on Dude. fire. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. This is a Sunday. We're doing this on a Sunday. Yes. Uh, Pod oh, Nation. God. We're, it's a Sunday. It's the end of the week. We're it's a little a scared down. about tomorrow. Mondays. We got the Mondays a little early. Monday. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? What oh, was it called? God. The Monday yeah. uh, Worries? Scaries. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sunday Scaries. Sunday Scaries. We all have the yeah. Sunday Scaries. Yeah, uh, I've better. been traveling all day. I just got in town about an hour ago. I just uh, got back from Charleston. I am back on the beach, boy. Blake, you want to hit that? Hit beautiful that? Orange <laughs> County, California. We're back. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm back. You wrapped up out there? Good job, buddy. There I wrapped go. it up. Good shit, dude. Righteous Gemstone Season 10. Noise. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's exciting. Okay. I, I was so tiring. It was like a week of night shoots to wrap it all up, and then I had to pack up my house and uh, get the hell out of there. Mm. Yeah, because I got to get married here in like two weeks. Yeah, man. you did. <laughs> did you get emotional leaving the house? Like, did you f have a connection with it, or were you like, "Fuck it, see ya"? It was too long. We were there for <laughs> seven months. So, <laughs> so no. <laughs> yeah. So no. I feel like if I would have left, uh, walked away when it exploded after like. You know, like a th three or four months, like season one, we were there for four months and it felt like that was the right time. Yeah, it was, right. it, I was like, oh, man, I'm really going to miss it. Seven months away from your house. Seven months. I'm like, all right. Dude. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I snapped a few photos of like the nice view I had and like the photo of the house. And I was like, will you, you message know. me those directly, please? Yeah, I'll DM you those. <laughs> You'll what me? I'll, I'll shoot you a DM. <laughs> M me DMs. <laughs> I'll shoot, shoot you. In. <laughs> oh, right. yeah, it's tough. I just got up here to Toronto to work on Shadow Season Three, and uh, I've been ow. here for a week. Oh, and yeah, I'm brother. ready to go back home. Uh, Wait, yeah. already? I just I don't really dig. I mean, once I get like grinding, I'll be like in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. time will move a little faster. But did you forget your <laughs> Oculus? Yeah. <laughs> what you didn't bring your? Is that VR? what happened? <laughs> I did. I forgot. I didn't bring my. Dude, Oculus. Dude, you bring your you know Oculus, what? boy. The, the weather's fucking fire out here right now. I've never been up here where the weather's actually like shorts and t-shirts. But uh, oh, dude, oh, right. Vancouver when right it's. Now. Pretty? You're in Vancouver, is that what you said? No, I'm Toronto. I'm Toronto. Toronto. Okay. I'm on the East Coast, so like normally yeah. it's just like fucking as cold as shit. Far right? away as Kentucky as you can yeah. get, brother. As, you <laughs> as, get. Far, as far, away. far away as you can get, dude. Damn, you're a long way from Kentucky, my friend. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Hey, stand by it. Stand by it, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's an earth shattering popos out. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm just like, uh, I, I, yeah, I feel the same way. And and I'm sure it's even harder for you, you know, having uh, like a young family and shit at home. Uh, oh, dude, yeah, with the six, like saying goodbye. Like my son's just like, I want to go with you. I want to go with you. And I'm like, Someday. dude, I want you to roll with me. You got to do like in White Fang, where like he starts throwing rocks at the wolf, so it goes away oh, while he's crying. Shit. Go on now, get. Oh yeah, yeah. those are the best moments get out in of here. any mm -hmm. movie where it's a go on get situation. <laughs> Do you do you make like fun? You should make fun songs to like make it make you leaving like a fun adventure for him. 
Yeah, you, that's great. My dad, my dad used to do that. My dad used to uh, go. Uh, Daddy's got to go to work to make a lot of money so he can buy Barbie dolls and baseball cards for his little honeys. And then he'd go, oh yeah, and do like the Robin Williams doesn't know how to do hip hop with with his hands dance. Uh, that's why I never fuck with that guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> From Gangnam Gangnam Star. Star. Mm-hmm. And he would do that. And that, and I'm like, well, fucking, this sounds awesome. You're going to go away. And then when you come back, I'm going to have like baseball cards. I like very, that. Guy. Very rarely uh, brought me baseball cards, but um, go away again. I like that. I like making songs to uh, for children to make them uh, deal with a hard situation. A yeah. Better. yeah, I think yeah. I think I'm going to use all my pitch perfect skills to uh, be a song and dance man <laughs> right. for for these kids. <laughs> Dad got Rhythm, fired. Please don't stop the music. Music. <laughs> Please, please don't stop the music. Please stop crying. Daddy just got fired. We're gonna lose the farm race. Please stop crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Daddy just got canceled. Old pictures. I can't stop working. Old pictures from Halloween. <laughs> I overextended myself and the family. <laughs> 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 We have too much overhead. (laughs) Need to batten down the hatches. Pictures of my nipples at work did not go well. My accountant (laughs) stole my money. (laughs) (laughs) I trusted him with everything. (laughs) Do you know who Bernie Madoff is? (laughs) This is a fun song, Daddy. I don't even know what what song is this. We're living in our car now. You're sleeping in the back seat. I'm hunting squirrels for food. We'll shower at the gym. (laughs) I've set traps for traps for rats. Cooking them on the radiator. (laughs) We're having bugs for dessert. We're having bugs. Shit, right. things went down. It's hell. Caterpillar Wednesday. <laughs> Caterpillar oh, Wednesday. It's just one of those days. Your daddy is a freaking. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Freakingism. Uh, Give it up. Give oh, it up. man, it ain't easy. <laughs> Freakingism. <laughs> Give it up. What is freakingism? Give it up one time. Yeah. What, what is, is freakingism? Yeah. Freakingism is <laughs> where you just <laughs> I'm freakingism, man. I believe in freakingism, baby. I got boogers coming out my nose. What is what is free? Well, I don't know what you free, eat. What what's is free? Like out of a dumpster? Yeah, you just grab exactly. exactly. It's a free lifestyle, and it's called freakingism because it's free. <laughs> You're not paying for shit. It's just a play yeah. on words uh, with a G. This is like a last man standing storyline for sure. <laughs> With a G? Free. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm asking how to say it. I've never heard this word before. You guys are acting like I'm a fucking... So you know how people say vegan? <laughs> you know how you say... You know how people say vegan? Bog. Uh-huh. Bog beaver. So this is freegan. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, freegan, right. vegan. Hey, thank you for breaking yeah. it down. Appreciate yeah, you just it. had yeah. the ism to make it seem more legit, which is what happened with you. I said mm-hmm. freeganism, and you're like, what is this? Well, what is it a real a thing? Joke. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's a real thing that's been said out loud. Or you, do you oh, think okay. I just came up with it right now? I Did you just... <laughs> do you think I did? I'll buy that in the room. Uh, <laughs> People say it. It's dumpster diving. Yeah. Right. What, was, did it have a Homeless. resurgence? Like, why was that, like, even something that was on our map? <laughs> a resurgence? <laughs> what is it, swing dancing? <laughs> was it, like, a what? movement? I could it's see like it being salsa. a movement. We're like, uh, we're, you know, people are like, actually, I live by this. I get everything. You can get everything from yes. a dumpster. I think it was a thing, you know, but, you know, not really. And then people thing. are like, a lot of people got really sick. <laughs> They're like, you can't eat that. Do not eat that. It was like an episode of Vice News tonight or some shit. And that's about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's yeah. definitely, there's definitely <laughs> something. Nah. Right. There's definitely something to it. Like, yeah, you can find a lot of great there's shit in There's something dumpsters. to it, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. foraging. I just don't know if I would, like, I don't, like, how strict is, is freeganism? Like, how strict, <laughs> like, can you buy anything? Like, or, or hey, is, nah, not if you're living that freeganism lifestyle. Strict freegan. Yeah, like, how yeah, strict do they get? if you're a strict freegan, you're not purchasing anything, I don't think. Zero. You're, you zero pain for 
in it. You're foraging. You're you're. You get your electricity from the dumpsters. Yeah, like no, you get your electricity from like the un. The, the plugs that are just chilling on somebody's wall. You just plug your phone in for Ooh, a little bit there. I, I believe freeganism is just eating, I believe. Really? What? You think it's a dietary thing. Oh. So, well, it's, if it's playing yeah. off veganism. It's a play on veganism. I think it's just trying to eat for free. What? Oh, I never even thought uh, about that. I don't know, but I, th I think that it's just about eating. Because now, <laughs> now you guys are all making shit up. And that's the grossest. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah I don't we know. Were that's for sure. Like, we were starting to describe homelessness. It's not really freeganism, you know. <laughs> right. I'm freegan. Uh, Houselessness. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you don't. Um, you can't say what okay. you say. I know. I apologize. I repeat it. Unhoused. <laughs> nope. Yep. Can't say no, that I, either. I, oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Uh, it's called free. It's called free range. Free range human. Oh uh, no way! That's great. Organic free range human. Wait, you can't. Okay. You cannot say homeless anymore. You have to say free range. Well, you can. You can. You, I, hey, you can say whatever you want, dude. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I just I think homeless is out, and uh, yeah. organic free range it, human is the new. You're uh, <laughs> because it's because the they say you know the, you know why get the why, fuck why, out of here. <laughs> organic free range human. Uh, no, it's because <laughs> uncaged no, you from un uncaged human. <laughs> <laughs> it's because like the, the staying home is where the heart is so you can't say homeless because you got a heart that's beating you know what i mean oh that's wait, why really? it's not cool that's how i interpret this we do have to live by that saying that uh is on a wooden sign in my mom's house <laughs> right we, well, but <laughs> you have to live by every wooden sign in my mom's house well, which you guys I'm now sorry, that you've mom. all been there can attest there's, there's a lot of signs there's yeah, a, lot a lot of signs, signs. there be signs I gave your mom a sign. I brought a sign to uh, the bachelor party. You did bring a sign. I want to thank you sign. for that. What oh, yeah. did the sign say? I know what it said. Yeah, what was it? It was like, it's wine, something wine. Plus wine plus. It was dinner plus dinner wine equals, equals winner. Equals winner. Winner, That's winner. Right. Yep. Yeah. yep. Pretty good. Yep. Hey. Pretty good. Yes, yeah. points! <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I actually was really curious about like what, like saying uh, homeless or like why that became a bad word because I know it is unhoused now, but now oh, that you it said, is like home is where yeah. the heart is. I've never heard that in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what people are rolling with now. That's yeah, the yeah, politically exactly. correct thing. Uh, what's say. cool is how Adam, <laughs> like, you could be kind of sensitive about it. Oh, okay. Like I'll, you go, I've never heard that in my life. I mean, I've never heard that ever. <laughs> I've never even, uh, that, that this is the first time I'm hearing this. You've been working. You've been working. You've been working. Got, yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I been haven't working. been in Los Angeles in a long time and over, over half a year. Right. This is some new shit. I'm catching Welcome up. back. Freganism and unhoused. That's right. <laughs> Huge <back>. cup. <laughs> also, uh, oh, unhoused. Just the exact same as homeless. Well, yeah. it's not though. It's not. I mean, I'm why? Not, I mean, why is unhoused a better term? I, yes, you're right. It's it like is. saying like it's, it goes back to sliding the DMs. It's just a. We're trying to change it a little bit. Yeah, it has negative. Or, okay, just a different spin. Homeless means you're without a home. You would say shoot the homeless. Un means you you don't have that. Don't thing. have a house. A house, uh -huh. not a home. A house. Those are two different so things. You, I mean, so that's you're focused. Who, who, okay. No, they're not. Not to me. Yeah. Right? Well, but that's know. what that's what we have to. Uh, we have to, guys. We have to realize. So that. charged. <laughs> that's what we're supposed uh, to be realizing right now. Okay. Is that a home mm. is where you hang your hat. A home. Mm. Could you know be. what I mean. No. Mm. A house is where you hang your hat. No, like, but you can hang your hat in places that aren't houses. That's what, what I'm saying. What a tree. Well, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you can put a hook anywhere and call that your home. Look at, hang on. But you can't call it a house. I'm not going to say this. Is, I'll say this. It's not any of our producers, but we have someone in our chat who's going, a drug addict's now called a substance use disorder. Hey, we're not trying to pile on people here, okay? <laughs> we're not going after people changing the word. He's like, you can't call anything what it was. We're not doing that. We're just no, talking. We're about just this. talking about this one no, thing no, of homeless no, versus unhoused, no, yeah, and what the connotations. Sure, are. because to me, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't see homeless as like something mean to say, but when you say like other places can be homes that aren't houses, that makes sense to me. Yeah, sure. that's how I yeah. interpret it. Right, but 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 like, oh, there's a ton of people who don't live in houses 
either. And so what about those people who live in apartments or condos? We're just saying, fuck you. Yeah, they, you know, they live in apart- apartments or condos or trailers. Are they unhoused? Like, yeah, well, well, that's what I'm saying. The semantics of it are. I mean, my uncle was homeless <laughs> or unhoused. And uh, he just said he was camping for like three years. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. He was like, I'm camping. <laughs> In our driveway? Well, there you go. <laughs> we were like, are you still camping under the bridge? He's like, yeah, I'm camping there down yeah. still for yeah. a while. Yeah, Been Oops. camping for a while. Winning. Though. Yeah, I love camping. Call them, call them fucking campers. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. cool. Can, yeah. Urban campers. Urban campers. That's not bad at all. Urban campers is a way cooler term than unhoused. That cells in the room. That right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right the there. Room, buddy. That's, That's sci-fi, I'm, all right. Well, God damn, that might be too good, though. Been back for seven months, and I come back <laughs> swinging. Give me in, in the fucking uh, so the room. City, city council. Urban campers at the base of this volcano. <laughs> and all of a sudden... <laughs> All these beavers shoot out. <laughs> start Holy coming out of the shit. volcano. Okay? To- volcano to beaver. <laughs> we call Here's it volcano to beaver. Quest one unhoused. <laughs> quest, quest one. one. <laughs> que- quest one. The, you're setting yourself up for the sequels with that you one. You have to. You have, you have to. to. Yeah, you, you have, have to. Because everything's commercial. Universe. Man. <laughs> Always pitch something with quest one. At, yeah. At the end, well, that's quest that's one. like with Game Over, man. We never really intended on doing a sequel, but we made sure that we had the option. Yeah, you know, absolutely. The door is you open. To. The, keep those keep those doors open for as many sequels as possible. We even named That's it. Right. I hope. I yeah. Game yeah, over yes. board. Game over board. <laughs> yeah. And then we I, we talked about doing a third one called Game Over Mom, where like that was with Shaggy. The boat ends up crashing into Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, and we, we get Shaggy again. <laughs> we <laughs> never made the sequel, but we had the third one. <laughs> yeah, the third one yeah. named it's a little. I mean, that would like be... cute. <laughs> hey guys, Fred, can we promise that every movie that we do together, we end it with uh, it a possible sequel? Absolutely. As long as yeah. it, oh, as long as Overboard is in the sequel title. <laughs> Because I feel like it applies. Uh, that's a really good uh, package there. You got freaking game over man, game over board, game over mon. Mm, <laughs> like <fuck>. that's <laughs> huge, dude. Mm-hmm. Game over mon, dude. If, oh, if, I thought it was game over mom. <laughs> no, but that that's comes. That comes I was later. buying that in the room. No, that's that's the straight to DVD fourth one that none of us are in. Yeah, like, that goes a li- like a lifetime movie of the week. <laughs> yeah, where like this mom has to fucking like. Learn Step how to up. play video games. Yeah, she's she's like she's a bro mom, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's the story, the true story of a bro mom. Of a, yeah, yeah. I after I put the kids to bed, I just go right into modern warfare and just tear <laughs> shit up. There's got to like, be a mom who something. does that, right? Oh, absolutely. I hope so, for sure. Oh, there was a. Uh, this is weird. I was just in the Dallas airport earlier today, and there was a full on gaming lounge. Wow. Like wow, that you could, I didn't have time to go like check it out, but it was like cool. There was like lights and then there's like comfy chairs that you could just pay and just go game. Oh, that's amazing. Nice. Like, and, and they had like wraparound screens with like call of duty and shit on it. It was nuts. I was yeah. like, what that's a smart. fucking genius idea for the airport. No! It's becoming apparent that L- LAX is the worst fucking airport. Oh yeah. yeah LA I go to other sucks, airports dude. and I'm like, wow, like what the fuck is this? And let's talk about some crappy airports. Yeah, dude. They're redoing it. They're they're redoing it. The Delta, uh, the n- new Delta uh, wing or whatever they variant. call it, variant. terminal. Yeah. It's called a variant. <laughs> uh, variant. It's yeah. awesome. I love it. No, the the, the terminal is is pretty I sick. They're doing it. some sick things over there at LAX. <laughs> Delta is sick. <laughs> what, I mean, what when it? I was out, when I got off <laughs> a, a, up here in Toronto, Delta, we're sick. I was pretty <laughs> stoked because they fucking I needed some papers and a lighter, and I hey, was like, "Okay, go, bro." Nice, dude. Roll it up. It was fucking like it was fucking like eleven thirty, twelve o'clock, and I'm like, dude, "Get him." What's up? Maybe no. I'm sorry. It was three in the morning, and oh, I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh, and then I'm walking out by the baggage, yeah. and guess what? I see a fucking Seven Eleven right there. Get them. Okay. Open Gangnam Style. You saw a Seven Eleven in there. Yeah, it was a Seven Eleven in the airport with guess what? Papers and also lighters, bro. Oh my gosh. Hey, Blake, can you do me a favor mm. and add just a little <laughs> bit more to that Wampum Gangnam style? You're getting me so jazzed for it. I want to yeah. hear 
You can't just say Womp Womp Gangnam Style and Womp. hit the first hit and then we bail. Let me hear it. Here, yeah. Womp on Gangnam Style. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, you want to hear oh. the whole goddamn song? I don't know. I feel like we need Womp, 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 and then cut out. I don't think we need any more. I don't think we need any more. I just like the Womps, where it's like Womp, Womp. Well, you think that's enough? I feel like I that's. I think it's perfect. That's like when the when you're dancing and then all when of a sudden dancing? it gets like the best part of the song and uh, fucking Akko and Atiba <laughs> change the song on us and we're like, oh, oh, we love that part. We were so excited for that part. Right. Well, I also pulled the um, the kids bop version. Okay, let's hear that. Oh yeah, you were well, sending. Oh, that geez. was actually way scary. Was beautiful. What a weird church. What was that? Why did they do that? Are those children? <laughs> Who's singing that? <laughs> children? What if, what if you were sleeping and you heard that from outside? <laughs> that, that, your house? Sure, that, that would be the scariest. Oh, fuck. That oh, is yeah. a horror movie. <laughs> that would sell in the room. <laughs> that would sell in the room. A bunch of kids can't stop singing Wumpum Gangnam style. Gangnam Beaver. Adam, Adam, that's the sound. That's the sound of the beavers. <laughs> oh, Wumpum Gangnam style. That's the sound of the beavers, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> it is a the strange beavers. cult. Kids Bop is a cult. Be careful what your kids are listening to. What is that? Okay. Might be bopping yeah, too what's hard. up? Elaborate. You go on, don't don't go after. I, mean, that's I, I feel went like down it's a so noble good. thing. Yeah, it's noble, right? Isn't it noble? What do you think? I saying? don't know. It, it, well, you guys got that thing I sent you of Ja Rule and uh, J Lo. The flip of that. The I'm real. Unreal. <laughs> All I the didn't listeners see this. at home in your car. It's just some guy with a deep voice trying to be Ja Rule. So kids bop on the early early ones. It might be like either number six or something. I love They're your up to down like, little kid bop. <laughs> wormhole over there there's like 27 kid bops now but like number six has like i'm real you know the j-lo the and way the, you walk the way you but move since down, don't, yeah. i'm real so instead in the early kid bops <laughs> kids <laughs> weren't the ones singing the songs it was just songs made for kids like edited and stuff right. so they okay. just got this guy who kind of doesn't sound like jaw rule at all and he's just like, what's my name? It's just Adam's dad. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> it's so worth a oh. listen. It's one of the funnier things. You and can. we're going to play it right now. What's my name? Thank you, God. And we're back. And we're back. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Thank you, God. Any take back some um, apologies giveaways? Oh, Ooh. boy. Today was a, a slow burn. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Let's think back on. You that. got some take I got backs? nothing right now. <laughs> well, I would, I would like to, I would like to uh, compliment all of us for each off the top of the dome coming up with legit fire movie ideas Absolutely. for our, our sci-fi movies. Thank Absolutely. Uh, oh, alligator yeah, pussy or whatever your crocodile. <laughs> <Alligator. movie. laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Did you Crocodile just make that up? Did you just make that I up? I just made that up. I just made that up. And that's the sequel, dude. <laughs> what is it? No, dude. Fucking Croctopus. You can't fuck with the Croctopus. Croctopus. That's a good one, actually. That one actually could. Yeah. Alligator pussy's not terrible. <laughs> hit, up, hit up my management. <laughs> hey, don't take away from Volcano to Beaver, dude. No, I know no, you're. No, that's. Cro Volcano to Beaver's got to be introduced <laughs> in the second. Beaver. Croctopus. Croctopus. So it's like the only thing that can save us. Oh, we're building a world. Uh -huh. Like Godzilla versus From King the Croctopus. Yeah, quest one, quest two. So yeah. it's Croctopus, <laughs> attack of the Zom de Beavers. De, de Beaver. It's <laughs> de Beavers, yeah. Zom de Beaver. I don't give a Zom fuck. De it, it rolls off the tongue so much so that you have to really think about how to say it. You quest have, two. Have you already dumped the volcano part of it? You're not doing that anymore? It's a zombie now? Oh, right. Volcano <laughs> Beavers. What did I say? I think, yes. I think Zombie Beavers is an actual movie. Yeah, yeah, Zombie Beavers yeah. is that. Jordan Rubin directed yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, we know the yeah. guy. Homie. Yeah, yeah. the homie. You definitely did just that. ripped that. Great movie. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. I meant Volcano Beavers. <laughs> yeah. This is my bad. Yes. Um, yep. So your my apology bad. is. To my apology is to Jordan <laughs> Rubin for stealing his Zombie Beavers. <laughs> <laughs> but that being said, uh, if they came out of, if they weren't zombies and they were just actual molten beavers that came out of a volcano, mm -hmm. well, maybe, yeah, it's, maybe a better movie. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Croctopussy. That's why you said alligator pussy, huh? Because croctopussy. 
Croctopus is really Croc- cool. I like alligator pussy. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, that sells in the room. That's Darn. a one-two punch. We like alligators. We like pussy. Allig- By the way, I, I love the idea of us going in to pitch it and Kyle being like, and it's called alligator pussy. Nope, <laughs> nope. Sorry, nope. It no, is no, called no, no, no. Octagator or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, it's called uh, Zom Zom Beavers from Mars. <laughs> no, no, no. That's already nope. Jordan's movie. I miss nope. Hope. That's a movie. Um, uh uh-uh. Nope. Mm? Uh uh-uh. Um. I guess what my shout out. I'll just read. Uh, you shout brought, out. <laughs> <laughs> you brought up Norm McDonald, dude. R.I.P. That dude was hella. R.I.P. Norm is definitely worth going through. Like his old stand yeah, up and appearances. He was I've been very, watching so much of his. Um, his latest, like, uh, Norm MacDonald has a show. On, on Netflix, yeah. Yeah, he's just mm-hmm. interviewing people, and it's just so raw and, like... To the pilot. It's him and Super Dave. Fucking awesome. And and the homie uh, Adam Eager is his co-host. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's dope. I have not tapped into that yet, but I will definitely check it out. It's on Netflix. You never watched the first episode with uh, with Super Dave? No. It's oh, so you sent good. that to us. Yeah, I did. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll watch it tonight. It's so oh, good, because oh. he's just like, this is bad. The whole time he's like, <laughs> "You can't be doing this. these jokes are bad." Wait, what is this now? I didn't watch this one. Yeah, and didn't he, he did one with like Sandler, and he he kept like apologizing for how bad the show is, and Sandler's like, "You you'll figure it out, man. Right. You're gonna get it." Yeah, it's hilarious. There was a cool clip that somebody sent to. He must have been doing some roast or something where he like we the Bob were, Saget roast. Yeah, I think we were on the red carpet, and he like they threw to him after us and. I don't know. He says we're all so I was st- I was Oh really? Oh, man. oh yeah. that's tight. Very so, cool. Like, I I got to open up for him a handful of times way back in the day before we got workaholics and uh he was just the nicest guy, man. Yeah. That's what everybody says is just like super polite. He was cool just dude. like yeah, just a very funny, very cool guy. And, like Legend. no pretension. Didn't think he was like the hot shit or anything, you know. Just was yeah. just was so cool. RIP him. Yep. Wish we would have gave him flowers when he was alive. Yeah. Fucking, we're blowing him, man. I have a weird story. I actually gave him flowers one time. <laughs> really? Yeah, I thought he was... Um, no, I, I was wondering that's if... A, that's a Norm joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, So, like, a guy like Norm, right, by stand-ups, um, by all stand-ups accounts, he's the best, right? Not, like, the best, like, um, Richard Pryor style, but, like, stand-up, stand-up. Everybody loves him, respects him, reveres him. Yeah, mm-hmm. but also like was not like a super success story, right? So mm-hmm. I'm wondering if back to what we were talking about earlier, if you're not a huge success who's in like a fucking Toyota commercial or whatever, do young people still fuck with you? If you're uh-huh. like not, we talked about selling out. Like this is a guy who I imagine never sold out. Like even when he was on SNL, they're like, "Hey, you got to stop doing uh, OJ jokes because the jokes, owner of yeah. NBC." fucks with oj and he was like mm-hmm. nope and he got fired for di- for doing too many oj right. jokes mm-hmm. he was like fuck that i'm not doing this i'm not working for the man this is my art yeah do does that resonate anymore with anybody or are they like why are you yeah i think why why don't you want to just get all the sponsors that resonates i mean it resonates with me as an artist i don't know about yeah kyle you're i don't know you're damn near 40 homie we're talking yeah. about these like little you're about 16 as year far olds. from young as Kentucky. <laughs> i don't know as Kentucky i don't know, Canada. <laughs> I don't know yeah, man. No, i bet it'll come back around i think every i'm waiting for it that's what i was thinking watching the mtv awards i was like who's gonna be like Fuck all this noise. I'm not doing it for all this stuff. Oh, so Frank Ocean kind of does. I don't know. He stays quiet. Yeah, he but that's my really point, sh- is that he did it, and then he kind of pieced out, and people are like, not really on that wave anymore. He's still good, yeah. but he's yeah. not like... He, it's hard to... It's he's hard not to as him. successful, yeah. Well, he's not, it's hard to... Well, you reach a point where... Yeah, you definitely do reach a crossroads where you're... I'm sure almost every... I mean, anybody who's lucky enough to to be up in the mix probably hits a point where they're like, fuck that. Well, no, all, I'm all going it takes this way. is all it takes is for the, a group of really cool, influential people to be like, yo, that kind of shit is lame. Cause right now it's all green lights. Everybody who's cool is like, yeah, work with companies like sell out it. We're make, getting money. We're money. getting money. But, and that's yeah. who the coolest kids are. The coolest kids are doing that. Exactly. And they're like, yeah, no, fuck that shit. But real quick, let's do this. Comb your hair forward, and then let's do this TikTok dance. Yo, those are out <laughs> of control. <laughs> the like, and by the way, the hot who, German. These friends. hot, these hot. Da- who has this many hot friends? 
There's like seven hot guys in a row. Yeah, just it's super your... hot seven guys in a row. Just like, <laughs> I mean, in what world? You don't have one weird looking friend? Like this is where the generational <laughs> shift happened where like even good looking guys like when we were kids would not get together and dance and film it and show people. You know what we I mean? Were, that we, would yeah, we wouldn't show people. We wouldn't show people. <laughs> <laughs> we, we would dance and film it. We would and dance no together uh, just as a choreographed thing that we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> at like a slumber party but we're not showing people we grew up in like boy band yo but era. but to adam's like, point we weren't like that wasn't a way to get girls and apparently it's a way to get girls now bro if you were in the back doing some fucking in sync dances like girls are looking at you bro. do not no not at my high school you're a, no you're ready to get discovered i'm not saying i did this no. but i'm saying like no. didn't like isn't this a thing where dance crews like got chicks at school dances and uh, you're thinking of yeah. movies you're, wait, yeah, you're thinking you, of you you dude, what? step up in the street <laughs> yeah in what Stuck world are you living in and that's also, Dance crews aren't boy bands. You're like, talking about two different things. Yeah, we're talking about those guys are <laughs> legit, very famous guys. We're talking about dance crews here. Not oh. even. We're talking about we're guys. Not, we're talking just about cute guys doing like literally a shimmy, and then like literally they do this on TikTok where they wiggle back modeling. and forth. Yeah, it's like modeling, modeling yeah. dancing. <laughs> I bet, they're, I bet they're not even Model actual dancing. friends. Zoolander. <laughs> yeah. They're put together. I, yeah. no, I bet they're, they're put together. I bet they are. I can't wait to see catch my kids doing that shit. Yeah, Lou, Lou Perlman put them I together. Went, I went to a, yeah. a, a party. Uh, when I came back, I came back to LA for a week, like a couple weeks ago. And uh, my friend had a birthday party. And she lives like right by the Hype House which is like a house yeah. where a bunch of like influencers live together and it was kind of a fucking thing. And uh, their backyard just looks insane. There's, it's just like neon lights, everything. Everything's set up to right. shoot videos. Right. And There's uh, like giant inflatable yeah. fucking bullshit. And I'm like, like that? fucking, fucking, that looks so fat. fun, dude. <laughs> I wish uh, we all lived uh, there together. Yeah. Well, It okay. all looks like how Blake's house used to look like. Yeah, it'll get back there. I mean, Blake's my my favorite influencer for sure. Yeah, thanks, man. The what original is, influencer. Blake when his hair is dry, nuts. when his hair is dry, I love him. Uh, hey, you I know what? I, I'll I'll do a take back, Kyle. I'm gonna take back um, that commercials aren't art because okay. um, I we all know the Budweiser <clears throat> frogs, bro. And if that ain't not, if that ain't yep. art. I don't know what is. True. <laughs> Thank Facts. you. That's Facts. the last great commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I like ending there. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. All right, Bud. guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> seems Why like it seems like there's no other take backs or apologies or giveaways or. I thought I thought we ended. There's there, I like ending there. I, I know but we didn't we did. say the thing. Is there? Are we no. gonna Peter out. Yeah. Okay. No get, way. Hey, we got to Peter. Well, out. get your Blake, Peter out. Anything from you? I did. I gave freaking Normus flowers. I gave a oh, shout out. Norm, Normus flowers. Okay. Why are you yelling? Everybody, because everybody, every week you guys forget my fucking, like, what I say. <laughs> like, like, last week, hair dirt is wet. It. Your hair All is right. wet. Your hair is wet, dude. We can't take you seriously, dude. Is your you, hair wet right now? We can't. We don't care. Your hair is wet. gorgeous. Your, dude, it's if, sponsored. I. It has to be wet. I'm working with. It has, it's Pantene Pro V. Pantene. Uh -huh. it's Pantene, new, sorry. I'm bringing this the Jerry This week's episode back. was brought to you by Blake's Wet Hair <laughs> on... Wet. This, this is, is important. important.